Hello and Equip Movo here and welcome to my build idea for the upcoming Harvest League which will be tomorrow night here in Sweden when I'm making this video. So the, build I, the first build I want to do in the league is a Divine Ear build just yes, because I just like Divine Ear. Just charging up a giant beam and just unleash it and see the enemy disappear, hopefully with enough damage. It's a lot of fun, so uh, I'm going to try that skill out again. And I'm gonna do it as a witch, and uh, with a new and improved skill tree, I quite like it. So, uh, this is my rough uh, build idea for it, and I probably, maybe, perhaps, going to make some changes when I am playing the league tomorrow night. But we will see about that. If you have any ideas for improvements to my build, I would love to hear that. By the way, let's not waste any more time and let's get started. But let's just actually start with the uh, Ascendancy tree. I'm gonna do be an elementalist. And my idea is to first go for Pendulum of Destruction and then Moss Mine of Discord because I do like those uh, Herald skills. And I want to use all the Herald except uh, the Chaos one or the Potion one because I don't really need it. But I really like Moss Mine of Discord. So, uh, and I'm also going to use Program of uh, Calamity for protecting against elemental damage, so I can do just do whatever resi elemental resist map I can figure out. It doesn't matter when I have this one. And I think about taking either Line of the Primordial or Shaper of the Solution. I haven't really decided yet. I like both, so I will see what I do. It would be amazing to just take Beacon of Ruin if I want to skip Program of Calamity and Line of Primordial. I can just go for Beaker, Beacon of Ruin. But I don't know about that right now. But anyway, let's continue to my actual skill tree. I'm gonna take the spell damage in the beginning, then the cost speed, because I love cost speed. And I'm gonna take lightning warper, because divine here is a physical and lightning spell. But I'm going to do a fair bit of uh, fire damage and a little bit of coal damage as well. I'm basically going to do all of the elemental damage with my idea. Maybe not the best way to do it, but I'm going to do it anyway. And I really like Lightning Walker, it's a lot of damage, and some good cost speed, and resistance is always nice. I was going to take Heart and Soul, and Deep Wisdom. I'm going to use some crits, so I'm going to go for Annihilation. I'm also going to have Blast Ray, so I can make my AoE bigger. And I'm going to use a Staff, so I'm going to use to Animatic Defense. Fence, I think this one is called because I want that block chance for protection. It also gives me some a bit of damage. I also take uh, Mystic Bulwark for some even more block chance against spells and I have some nice uh, maximum mana and a little bit of mana generation because uh, my idea is to have like 50% maybe in block chance, which will be quite good protection. I also have a Yule Socket here, which i going to have some damage and protection Yules in. I will see what I can get in the league. I'm going to have a Cruel Perception, Deep Thoughts, and I have this Intelligence note here, I have this Intelligence note there. It doesn't matter which one I take, I will just get to the same place. Here's one of the newer uh, additions to the skill tree, which are a note for Herald skills, which I really like because uh, one of my ideas is to run all of the Heralds, except the Chaos one or the Potion one, which I don't remember the name of right now. So, this one will be quite awesome and give me a fair bit of damage and reduce the mana reservation of my Herald skills, which I also like. Uh, I'm going to take Golem Commander e when I am taking uh, Liner Primordial. So, when I take a Liner Primordial, I take uh, Golem Commander, so I will see when that will happen. Because I just like this note here and have like three golems at the same time, why not? And my main damage will be lightning, so I'm going to read Heart of Thunder and Breath of Lightning. Because I want to shock some enemies. After that, I'm gonna go this way here. I have another Yule Socket here. I also have uh, Enigmatic Rich for some nast, uh, nice cost speed. I'm also getting some uh, area effect per power charges and area effect when wielding a staff. I also have Serpent Stance because it increases global critical strike chance, which will apply to spells as well. Also, chance to block damage if I dealt a critical strike, but that is not that important. I also have Arcane Potency for some crit chance and crit multiplier. 
I have purity of flesh, serenity, the increased effect of non curse auras will not apply that much. Maybe I'm going to run some normal auras, which I probably will. But the mana res uh, re reduction will be quite helpful with my heralds. I'm also going to take Divine Wrath, which converts some of my physical damage uh, into lightning damage, which is quite nice, my spells. And I was going to use Divine Fury for some nice uh, gain of physical damage as extra fire damage, why not? I was going to have uh, Divine Judgment, look at that increased elemental damage, 50%, that's quite nice. And actually, when I look at it right now, they have actually changed that note, I should have noticed that before. A 50% increased elemental damage? Hell yeah, I take that. Also another Yule Socket here. Also took uh, almost a whole uh, wheel for uh, staffs. Because I want the uh, block chance and also the gl uh, global critical strike chance I'm getting here. Also went to Templar, I took Devotion. I took Holy Dominion. Uh, the uh, Light of Divinity. Oh, Amplifier for some more AoE. Retribution. Discipline training, sentry, and I took precision, not to get the accuracy, but some movement speed is quite nice, and some nice cast speed and the dexterity, because I always want cast speed, and getting four cast speed for just taking this nose here, and also the dexterity, will help out a lot. So that is my current build idea. I will see what I'm gonna do with the Yules when I play, but I think I'm going to use, uh, well, Increase critical strike chance, critical damage, maybe faster casting, but uh, I'm not so sure yet when it comes to my Yule, so I don't want to show anything about it yet. So uh, I will see what's happened. But anyway, this was just a short little video about my idea for the league, and I hope it will work well. I have another idea for a melee build, which are a max block. Uh, Duelist, yeah, I never those, uh, done those before, right? Max block duelist, and I wanted to use some uh, good old fashioned uh, blade flooring. But I think I'll make a video about that later. But I'm gonna start with uh, this Divine Ear build because I'm most hyped to play some Divine Ear again. So I will see how the leaks will go tomorrow, and uh, hopefully, every one of you will have a Happy game or whatever you're gonna say. Anyway, I thank you for watching. Tell me a comment what you think about my build idea or if you have any ideas for things I can do different. By the way, I thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you guys next time.